what is up guys jeremy here and welcome back to another video so i'm going to show you guys how to use cydia impactor on ios 14 kind of um it's a little wonky i would highly recommend you guys to use the alt store method for installing ipas or if you're jailbroken and you just want to stop the revokes use reprovision reborn i'm making this tutorial just because City Impactor seems to be kind of updated for iOS 14 and I wanted to bring it to light. Maybe there's developers that watch my videos or something and maybe could build upon this. Um, so nonetheless, I find this to be very, very interesting and that's why I wanted to cover it. Um, so essentially, we're going to use City Impactor uh, to install IPAs onto my non-jailbroken um, iOS 14 device. This is actually on 14.5 beta 5 so it is on the newest um beta of ios 14. now like i said it seems to be a little wonky and it only works for paid developer accounts from what i can tell uh, so this will not work for the free developer accounts so if you guys do have a paid developer account you can use this method to install um, an ipa um, of course with the paid developer account it will be signed for one full year um, and yeah, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump onto my computer here real quick. Okay. Now we are on the Mac. As you guys can see, I have Cydia Impactor open, uh, right here. I will leave the download link for Cydia Impactor in the description. Uh, again, like I said, um, I would hundred percent, um, choose a different method for installing IPAs than this one, like alt store. Um, there is jailbreak methods for alt store. There is uh, the non jailbreak, obviously there is reprovision reborn. Like I said, um, I would recommend not to use this method. Um, like I said, I'm just doing this as a tutorial purpose and it's just something that I haven't seen in a long time. And uh, that's why I wanted to cover it because we will get extender on our device as well. Some of you guys might remember all of this. I think it's way back from like the iOS 10 days, maybe iOS nine or iOS 11, somewhere somewhere in that area uh, when this was being used to re-sign your jailbreak applications so that they wouldn't get revoked. This was uh, a method and then basically reprovision came out, kind of replaced it. And then since then we have uh, alt store. So it's kind of a, a blast from the past, I guess you could say. Uh, but I have Impactor open and I obviously have my iPhone connected to it. Um, so the first thing that I do is I just install Cydia Extender. It's the first option. So I'm just going to click start. Okay. Now this is where you sign in with your actual Apple ID. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. Now it asks you for, it's asking you for your password. This has to be a app specific password. The way you create these is from Apple ID uh, You guys will see the option for your profile in that section to create um, an app specific ID. Now I already have it copied on my pasteboard. So I'm just going to paste it in there and then we're going to click OK. And as you can see, City Impactor is now installing Extender onto my iPhone. OK, now it has installed. So back on my device, um, this tends to be a bug for iOS 14, but you won't see the application anywhere. As you guys can see, if I type for it, Extender, there's no Extender there. This is a an iOS 14 bug. So what I'm going to do is do a quick hard reboot on the 12 Pro uh, Max here, and then I will be back as soon as it's done booting back up. Okay, my iPhone is booted back up, so let's go ahead and jump on in, and we'll wait for the app library to load up. There we go. So now we should have Extender. As you can see, there is Extender, uh, and we're gonna allow it to do the VPN configuration. And I'll go ahead and put my passcode in again. We get an error. Um, let me go ahead and jump into settings to get rid of those annoying um, banners there. <laughs> Let's go into screen time here. See all activity. Um, show more shortcuts. Okay, so now we got rid of those annoying pop-ups. So as you can see, here is Extender. Um, some of you guys will recognize this. Obviously, it's not even built for the notched devices, so it is pretty much still in the format for a legacy device like the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 7. Um, but it's really interesting. So 
you know, you have your normal Cydia extender stuff here. From what I can tell, you can't actually use this in any way. So extender is broken, but we can still use impactor to install applications. Now there's a little bit of a bug that I noticed with this, but we're going to jump back to the computer here quick. So um, I still have Cydia impactor open, as you guys can see here. Now I have two IPAs on the right. I have Delta and the newest version of the uncovered jailbreak. No, I cannot jailbreak this phone. I'm just using the IPA as a demonstration. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take um, the Delta application and drag it onto Cydia Impactor. And again, I'm going to sign in with my um, Apple ID. And again, we will have to use our um, app specific passcode. I'm just going to paste it again and click on OK. And now Impactor is installing Delta. Now this is where things get a little weird. I'm going to experiment on video again with this just because I haven't really figured out exactly how this works, but I think I might know. Okay. So same situation on the iPhone. Um, again, that iOS 14 bug, uh, it, it doesn't show up on our device. So again, I'm going to do a hard reboot to refresh the springboard essentially so that the um, application shows up. Now, if the application does not show up by doing this, um, I believe we need the impactor profile and it's kind of weird to get the profile installed. So once we're booted back up, we will see. Okay. We're booted back up. So let's jump in to the iPhone. Let's see if we have Delta available. Again, we got to wait for the app library to load up. So there we go. And there we go, actually Delta showed up on its own. So you do not need the profile. So I literally just used Cydium Impactor to install an IPA um, onto my 12 Pro Max. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's a I have a paid developer account, so this app will work for one year. Um, and one year is plenty of time. <laughs> I, I've actually never reached the end of my signing period with the paid developer account. Um, but that's pretty much how Cydia Impactor works on iOS 14. Now, if we go into Extender, like I said, Extender is broken. It doesn't show Delta here. As you can see, it wants us to install that profile now. Um, and from what I have gathered, it, even installing the profile, it still doesn't let you use Extender. So I think Extender is broken but we still can use it to install IPAs. So very, very interesting. Um, like I said, I'll leave all the links you guys will need in the description. And again, I mainly made this tutorial um, for maybe if developers watch my videos or something, or you know, maybe this could be used for something on iOS 14, I don't really know. Um, I just haven't seen anybody cover it. So I wanted to cover it and show you guys that it actually does work. Um, and it's, it's pretty neat. Um, you know, if you ask me, allowing you to install IPAs with your developer account, signing the app for one year, it's kind of like an alt store alternative, I guess you could say. Um, but to me, I would rather use alt store because it's more streamlined for iOS 14, but still a pretty neat trick. If you ask me, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did definitely throw me a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.